everybody. My name is Elizabeth. This is Inebriated DIY and today I am drinking some Smith and Forge hard cider. I'm kind of on a cider kick right now so um, haven't had one of these in a while. Looking forward to it. So here goes nothing. I think I broke a nail. Mm-hmm. Very good. Today's inebriated DIY craft is going to be painting feathers. I got these cute little boxes from Target. They're so awesome. Look at these things. They can hold all your supplies. How cool. So I've got some feathers and I've got a cat around here somewhere and she might try to get these feathers, so here she is. It's Goose. So I've got some feathers here, and I saw this craft on Pinterest where you, that could be dangerous. No. I saw this craft on Pinterest where you paint feathers with designs and I'm gonna try that now. I've got these plain white feathers, which make great cat toys, by the way. I also got some really cool feathers. I have no idea what kind of bird this comes from or if these are real feathers. They might be fake, I don't know. Um, if only I was a bird, I would know. Oh God, she's gonna bite me again. After I get these feathers painted, what in the world am I going to do with them? So to make it a real craft, I'm going to turn them into a mobile, 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 those things that hang and have little things hanging from them. Um, I don't know what they're called. M-O-B-I-L-E. I-L-E. Yep. Um, I don't know how to pronounce it. I really am terrible at pronunciation. I can't even say my own name right half the time. I can't spell it right. When I go to Starbucks, I get someone else's name on the cup because I can't say it right. Yum! Goose is playing in the water. Good job, Goose. And I've got some uh, acrylic paints here. Uh, I would use something that's less permanent in case I get it all over myself, but I don't have anything except acrylic paints. I've got gold paint, solid black, maybe I'll use that, I'm not sure yet. I kind of want to use a lot of different colors. So I've got all the primary colors and a couple of secondary colors, um, and I'll probably mix some so I can get some really cool colors. And I'll let the cider kick in first before I start mixing so I get some really interesting colors. Um, hopefully ones I wasn't even expecting. Almost choked on that. Let's start with some painting. And some drinking. This is a really good cider. Smith & Forge. Or Smith and Forge. Smith and Forge. Mm hmm. I like it. I'm already like halfway through. I haven't even started yet. Good job, Smith and Forge. So let's get started with these white feathers first. Step number one cider. Hmm. Good cider. It might not look like it, but I actually do have a degree in the visual arts. But when you combine um, cider and other alcoholic beverages with the arts, you either get really wonderful masterpieces or you get what I'm about to create. So, good job!
Step number... Did I even get to a two? Step number two through eight. Smith and Forge. This is so much fun. I'm only on one color and it's so much fun. Wow. Even the water is so pretty. Look at that blue. Isn't that awesome color of blue? It almost matches. Okay, it doesn't match at all, but it's pretty. It's really, I like it. And just a word of advice, if you need to mix a color, make sure you mix enough that if you need that same color again, you can have enough to use it and not have to mix it again because I can never mix the same color twice. So I learned that the hard way. Wow, look at that green next to the blue. Can you see the difference? I can't from the little monitor, but that looks amazing. I'm so proud of myself. Oh, I just touched the wet paint. More than half a can into Smith and Forge, and I'm doing great. Ooh, now look at the water. Now it matches. Oh, look, it does. It actually matches. Wow. You know what the best thing about acrylics is? They dry really quickly. Not good for a color that you've mixed if you want to use it again, but um, great for these feathers because. I mean, I could pretty much, uh, well, I lied. They're still wet. Don't eat it. 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 What's that? You just noticed these? Me too. I completely forgot to mention them. So I've got two paintings because in my last video, it just looked really, really plain behind me. So I figured I'd give some decoration. Can you see my fat roll? Oh, I tried to hide it under the table, but I think it's visible. Drinking. Alright, so I think that's pretty much it for this feather. We've got some blue and some stripes and some gold dots. Um, I mean, maybe I'm looking through cider goggles, but this is beautiful. This is a work of art to me. So I'm going to sit this over here and let it dry and I'm going to work on one of these feathers. I'm really excited about these, so I can't wait to start using this guy. Almost forgot step 27. Oh, there's a bug on my wall. There's a bug. Kill it. Kill it with fire. Sorry. I think I'm going to zoom in on this one so you can see the detail. Hopefully I don't have too much of the fat roll showing. I'm going to try to zoom in on this and not this. I don't need any more attention on this. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going on a diet next week.
And now I'm gonna try to put the feathers back in order so that this really colorful feather is on top. Because who doesn't like colorful feathers on top? That is a masterpiece. That, this would win in a craft show. And I am completely out of my Smith and Forge. So it's time to bring in another cider. This is Bold Rock Hard Cider made with Virginia apples, which gotta support Virginia. That's my state. Mm-hmm. Wow. Look. Oh, there's there's something orange on it. I think that's yellow paint actually. Ooh, orange. We haven't used orange yet. <gasps> that's next. So now I'm attempting to make, wait, what? Oh no, the battery's about to die. I can't let it die in the middle of the video. Hold on, battery. Before the battery dies, I'm gonna put some orange on this purple feather. That is terrifying and beautiful. So my battery died but I was able to finish painting six total feathers and I think they look amazing. I mean, the colors are just popping. There's blues and golds and yellows and red, I don't know. I, really, I don't know what this abomination is, but I mean, it's beautiful. So um, now that I've got all these feathers painted, I'm gonna try to make a Hangy thing, mo 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 mobot mobile, mo 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 mobile, mobile, mobile. We're gonna go with mobile. So I'm starting with this ring that I'm going to hang these feathers from, and I'm just gonna tie them to a string with a string. That's redundant. I'm going to tie a string around them and then hang them from this circle and see what it looks like when I'm done because I'm just winging it and I'm almost out of another cider. I don't know if it's just me or if it's the cider, but trying to tie a knot in this embroidery floss is just, it's, it's really difficult. Wow. Now, if that isn't just the epitome of beautiful craft work, then really I don't I don't know what it is. I mean, look at this. This is amazing. And would definitely win any craft competition. I mean, look at the dedication the attention to detail, I mean, that, that is beautiful. Now, to hang this, you just need to take two more pieces of string, 
tie it to the top of this ring and then attach that to a hook from your ceiling and bam you've got your very own painted feather mobile look at that gold just it's shining it's I mean it's just it's oh my it's it's a train wreck is what it is oh my gosh this is and the goose seconds it this this is terrifying but it was fun it was so much fun so much fun to make I highly recommend it the goose recommends it um, yeah this this was amazing so see you next time cheers